what's up guys we are back with another video here now we're walking around in another part of Belen the last part was Belen but a neighborhood in Belen called La Mota now this area is called La Palma and something else and we're gonna go towards the uh, Los Molinos Mall and show you some of that now I remember back in 95 96 when I first came to like really stay here and live here every month because I was a tourist I was not a citizen of Colombia I had to come to an area behind this like about two blocks in where the Colombian immigration offices were and I had to go and give a receipt from a blank a bank slip a deposit slip every 30 days to get my visa extended for 30 days until I became a Colombian citizen but I only became a Colombian citizen because my mom and dad at least one of them has to be Colombian and both of them are Colombian and that's why I became a Colombian so chalo chalo let's go I became a Colombian citizen so I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the inside of the mall Los Molinos too incognito style like I did before so if you want more of the local life this area of Belen my GoPro is going a little nuts not the GoPro the gimbal so I'm gonna show you this if you want more of the local life and everything you can probably find an Airbnb stay a listing on Airbnb in this area this is between uh, La Mota and uh, La Palma in terms of this neighborhood of Belen B-E-L-E-N in case you didn't understand now you gotta stand my man sometimes getting this GoPro to work properly is something else here they have this bakery on the corner here on La Ochenta called Calenticos Express La Ochenta and it's almohavanas rellenos of uh, uh, filled almohavanas stuff I mean filled with some kind of sweet stuff look at the buñuelos being made there trying to keep their game straight look at the buñuelos being fried there buñuelos buñuelos guys and they fill the almohavanas right there with hola buenos días con que son rellenos las almohavanas mozzarella cheese in both buñuelos and almohavanas y que mas se rellena la almohavana con que mas rellena la almohavana oh many things blackberry they're filled with blackberry mozzarella uh, milk caramel uh, guava wow check that out Right now I'm just charging up my gimbal. This is what I use guys with my small uh, with my uh, GoPro. And the GoPro has an adapter for this gimbal. And so it's a little bumpy for a moment. Look, another payphone. Anybody for a joke? So uh, there are a few. And this is La Ochenta still, so you can find a lot of things along the way. Except getting hit by an old ass car. Look, the guy's selling avocados, avocados. Como tiene el aguacate, mi señor? De 3, 500, 4, 5. Ah, bueno, muchas gracias. Feliz día. He says he's got avocados for 3,500, 4,000, 4,500. I think if it said 5,000, I can't remember. So if you want a fresh avocado for lunch and you don't want to wait for one to mature, to ripen, I mean, there you go. 4,000 pesos is roughly almost a dollar. A dollar. Well, a dollar is like 4,500 right now. And there are a lot of homes here, houses. Maybe some of them are, be, are renting out a room on Airbnb, just remember to look. And we're coming up on La Trenta, 30th Avenue, with La Ochenta, so you can get your bearings uh, in terms of what you look for on Airbnb. And why do I talk about Airbnb so much? Because that's all I use when I travel. In the future, that'll change when I have more money, when I have an ampler budget. But for now, when I'm traveling, and not at this moment, but when I travel again next year, I'm going to be kind of like on a shoestring budget until this YouTube uh, passion becomes not just a passion but my only source of income with the three channels I have or four I have four channels if you're interested in knowing about them just drop a comment so this is the roundabout here the traffic circle the rotary circle traffic circle now Chenta with La Trenta just so you can get your bearing straight and you got another nice hole in the wall restaurants here and everything another, well it hasn't opened just yet but they got other stuff and go towards Los Molinos Mall up La Trinta this way so we'll be there in a moment Chalo Chalo! Vamos! Vamos! Let's go! So you get your bearings straight again a little more we're walking north here on La Trinta 30th Avenue La Trinta towards Universidad de Medellin University of Medellin in that direction west 
down just a block from the rotary circle there, the traffic circle, but we're going towards those molinos, the mall. Incognito, estamos incognito. Los Molinos. This is the movie theater complex. Those are the ticket uh, dispensers. They sell them Wakanda Forever, Dynamix, and the food, the concession stand, and all that smells good. Popcorn, where they win. Typical, typical food here is Rancherito. This is the news section. There's a money exchange place here if you want to exchange dollars for pesos or whatever currency you have just ask for it they'll tell you where it is so guys we just came out of the mall we're gonna keep going now back to the gimbal because you no know, mall security would wouldn't permit it but we you know we had to go incognito and we're gonna go down the block and show you something nice and then finish this video remember to give it a like and subscribe help us grow on youtube leave comments share it on youtube social media you know twitter whatever facebook whatever any kind of help is welcome Guys, I'm going to show you a restaurant that is old school since the 80s in case you uh, want to try some of the local cuisine and it's a restaurant right over there called Las Aos La Ochenta Okay guys, that's it for now so better up what's next? Ooh yeah